Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are going to learn about the scope of a Bean in Spring application. If you have worked with the Spring project, then I'm sure you must have heard of this term Bean scope. So we'll be focusing upon this concept today and we'll be trying to understand what are the different scopes which Spring provides, what do they actually mean. So we'll be covering up the theoretical part in brief and uh, also we'll be trying to do a small practical demo so that we can understand these scopes better. Okay, so Spring provides us five different scopes. In addition to these five, it also provides the feature that uh, you can create your custom scopes as well. So first one is singleton. Singleton in simple words, it is uh, one bean instance per IOC container. Okay, so it scopes to a single bean definition to a single object per spring IOC container. I hope it is clear and it is the default scope. So if you are not specifying any scope, the default is singleton. The second one is prototype. First thing is that it scopes to a single bin definition to any number of object instances means unlike singleton where we had only one instance in case of prototype, we are going to have multiple instances. Now the second point is when will those instances be created? So spring actually creates the bean instance as and when you send a request to it. When you ask the spring container at that time, it is uh, going to create the instance of that bean. Okay, so this is prototype. So upon a request, the spring is going to create the container is going to create the bean instance. Now the request scope. Now the request scope is that it scopes to single bean definition to the life cycle of HTTP request means bean instance will be created per HTTP request. Okay, so HTTP request, it means uh, it also suggests that this scope would be available only in your web based applications. Okay, so per HTTP request, you are going to have your bean instance. Session, uh, it is similar to request. There we had HTTP request, here we have HTTP session. So you are going to have uh, your bean instance, one bean instance per HTTP session. The last one is global session. So it's one bin instance per your global HTTP session. And it is uh, in your portlet, portlet based applications where we have this concept of global HTTP session. So these three scopes request session and global session. These are for your web based applications. Other than that singleton and prototype you have in your normal applications as well. Okay, so this is about the theoretical part. Let's move on to the practical part. So I have created a sample spring project out here with a controller class. Then I have auto wired the test service, which is an interface. And there is an implementation class for of this interface, which is test service IMPL. All right, so this is uh, a small project so I have used the auto generated one home method and uh, adding the reference of this test service object to this uh, attribute server time and uh, we have home.jsp where we are uh, printing this attributes value okay so let's try to run our project and uh, see the first scope which is a singleton since we have not specified the scope anywhere so it's singleton scope so this is the object reference okay now if I refresh the object reference is not getting changed the so same object is getting returned so this means it is singleton okay so same object reference is returned every time why? Because we have only one object. Now for the next one is uh, prototype. Uh, let's see how you can specify the scope. Either you specify in your XML or you can specify using annotation as well. So there is scope annotation. 
and uh, you can specify here the name of the scope this time we are trying to use prototype scope okay so the scope of this now of, uh, test service is prototype and the scope of home controller is singleton so we are trying to use a prototype uh, bean in a singleton bean okay so the context is reloaded let's try to refresh it okay a different object now we are sending the request to the home method but every time we can see that the same reference is being returned but isn't is it correct or not since we said the prototype object is going to get created every time we are sending a request but here it is not happening now why so the reason is actually what 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 is the meaning of singleton we have only one object right so when the uh, singleton object was getting created at that time one object of prototype was also created and uh, that reference was injected into this test service so every time when we are requesting uh, this uh, spring bean so we are getting the same object reference you are getting my point we are getting the same object reference every time we are requesting this singleton bean and that we saw as well right our reference is not getting changed it means the same object reference is being returned so this is the default behavior if you are injecting or if you are auto wiring uh, prototype scoped bean in a singleton bean now spring says that if you uh, want the behavior of prototype then you need to ask me you need to request me for that bean object reference now how you can send a request there are uh, ways to do it one way is that you can implement an interface application context aware let's implement it add the override method so what it is going to give us application context reference okay means we have the container reference let's store it mm, this dot application context is equals application context now instead of uh, uh, passing this reference we are going to ask the container that get me this bean object with the name test service okay so this time we are actually requesting the container that uh, please get me the bean with name test service all right so what this uh, interface is going to give us the reference of uh, the application context let's try to refresh it oops it says that uh, uh, no such bean definition there is no bean named with this service yeah we missed out so the bean if you can see here as well uh, oh here is error but the name in our case is test service IMPL, not test service. So the bean was not found. That is why it is HTTP 500 error. So the project is reloading. Reloaded. All right. No issues. Hopefully it should work. Yeah. So now let's see right it is behaving a prototype now because every time we are getting a new object reference so container is creating the bean object every time we are sending this request so this is now the behavior of prototype bean okay so the next one is uh, request scope okay so we do not need now this thing we can simply use the auto wire reference 
so the project it failed to load and it is giving us an exception which is illegal state exception that uh, no thread bound request found and you can read that yourself so now why is this error coming up when you are using either your request scope or your session scope at that time you need to specify the proxy mode now uh, what actually happens that when this singleton instance will be created at that time the spring container is going to create a proxy object you are getting spring container is going to create a proxy object for this bean so that proxy object reference will be injected in this singleton bean and when we are invoking the method or uh, when we are calling up at that time that proxy will delegate the calls to your original object okay so you can call it a proxy or a duplicate whatever you call it proxy is the right word to say so the proxy object of this request scoped bean will be created by the container and it will be injected into this singleton bean and what is the role of that proxy object uh, its role is to delegate the calls onto your original object okay so here we haven't specified the proxy mode okay so we can specify the proxy mode uh, here uh, any issues i think proxy mode and we have uh, an interface which is uh, uh, you can say scoped proxy mode so the scoped proxy mode it's an enum and it has the value which is default interfaces and uh, no target classes you can read about them right now since our class is implementing an interface we are using interfaces proxy mode and it is a jdk based proxy mode and uh, in fact let me take you through this so that we can understand here better i have opened up the spring documentation and here by default when the spring container creates a proxy that is marked up with the aop scope proxy tag so it is equivalent to specifying here proxy mode a cglib based uh, class proxy is created so the, by default spring creates cglib library based proxy it means yeah you must have that library in your class path right now we are not having that is why we are getting uh, we should we should get an error if even if we specify let's say the default one because the default one uses cglib library and uh, that we do not have in our class path yeah so it is still not getting reloaded now the spring says that uh, you can use uh, the other ways you can configure the spring container to create standard JDK interface based proxy All right, and this is what we can specify here the JDK interface based proxy in that case uh, it you do not have to have an extra library in your uh, class path and uh, yeah this spring container is going to create the instance for us okay so you can go through this documentation uh, this is the official spring documentation of bean scopes to if you want to learn more about this so our project is reloaded and uh, at this time it is reloaded successfully since we have specified the proxy mode and uh, let's see yeah so we can see here that uh, we have for each http request we are getting a different object okay uh, then last one is uh, session since we are not having portlet based project here so we'll be not covering global session let's write here session so per http session this uh, object is going to get created for your singleton and prototype you do not need to specify the proxy mode but for the rest you need to have proxy mode okay so project reloaded session got created we have one instance per session let's try to open up here 
in the browser so we have uh, here another reference all right so per http session we are having one bean instance so this is uh, the session scope okay so request and session and these are for web-based applications and we had web-based project here so it worked same singleton and prototype now one more thing when to use singleton by default it is singleton right so when to use prototype so prototype is for your stateful beans those beans which are carrying the object state in those cases you should uh, make the scope of that bean as prototype why because it is like equivalent to creating your object using new operator right whenever you use new operator a new object gets created so a new object will have its own state so if you want to have your stateful bean then you go for prototype but if you want to have stateless because it you will be having only one that will one instance that will be shared across your application so you go for singleton and request and session they are uh, i think they are themselves clear for http session if you want a one bin instance you go for your session scope and for http request if you want one instance then you go for request scope okay i hope uh, i could clarify uh, all your doubts regarding the bean scopes and now you can tell anyone uh, what are bean scopes what will happen if you uh, if your bean have uh, different scope and your uh, means one bean has different scope and another bean has different scope what will be the behavior in that case so yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video and uh, as always let me know if you have any queries doubts or your feedback suggestions through your comments or your emails whatever so thank you so much yeah see you next time bye bye